In this video, I'm going to show how to make a paper rocket out of this document. This is uh, lightweight cardstock material. You can make a paper rocket out of regular paper, but I prefer to make them out of cardstock because they are uh, the la rockets just last longer. Okay, um, the first thing that I have people do is create a design in their rocket or on their rocket and we're going to just use uh, this area right here of the um, the sheet and I'm going to make just a simple design then after we've made that simple design what I'll do is uh, the next step is to cut this entire block off right here, this whole piece. I'm going to cut that off. And I am uh, going to uh, set this aside for now. And now the next piece I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off what is uh, the nose cone, which is this arc right here. A nose cone is not necessary for the rocket, but it does make it look more like a rocket. So now we have well, all the cutting is done. Actually, I take that back. There is one other piece here we've got to do, and that is to cut the arc of this off. There we go. And I'm going to set the nose cone aside for later. And I'm going to focus right now on the tail fin. Now, the tail fin you'll notice has uh, three dotted lines. One, two, three. And what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, fold this right on the dotted line. Now, there's lots of ways to make tail fins. Uh, and this is just one of them. And I, uh, this is the design that I use or came up with after um, trying to make these with lots of people all at the same time. This is the easiest way I've found. Love it. If you can find a, a better way, please send me your design. Uh, these are also pretty durable tail fins. So what I'm going to do now is I, I'm going to uh, fold this here uh, and then I'm going to tape I usually say gray to gray. I'm going to take this piece of tape and go around there. And now I'm going to take another piece of tape and put that here. Now I'm going to do, I'm going to, uh, so this is essentially what we have. And now I'm going to fold again. Every place there's a dotted line, I'm going to fold. And neatness counts. Good tail fins help your rocket fly further and faster. Sloppy tail fins will make your uh, rocket fly sloppily. I was to say that, but I'm going to put a piece of tape here. This is what I have so far. Now I'm being careful not to tape anywhere on the dark black. No tape on the dark black. And so here's what we have so far again. So you can see how I'm doing this. One more. Avoiding the dark black here. Get another piece of tape. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside for now, but this is what my tail fins right now look like. So I'm going to set that aside. I'm not even going to work on the nose cone just yet. And again, what I just was working on were these tail fins right here. So this is a rocket my daughter made. Now, um, the launcher uses a 
piece of PVC pipe that is, this is a half inch PVC pipe. And what I have done is I've made a lot of these rocket formers. I don't know what else to call them, but they're a section of PVC pipe that I have put uh, some tape on. And uh, this is, you could use duct tape. I've used two pieces of uh, aluminum tape. And essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap up my rocket, roll it around this uh, pipe. And you're going to see on the directions, it says wrap this edge first. It says do not color in this area. And that's because, as you'll see, that, that's going to get covered up. So again, neatness counts. I'm going to actually, I'm going to get a piece of, a couple pieces of tape ready because it's just easier when you have the pieces of tape. By the way, if you're doing this on a large scale, working with a lot of people, I'll generally have people who just manage the tape. Uh, if you're doing this with kids, they're usually not so good at managing tape. They'll pull off long pieces that become waste. So I'm going to roll this and keep it tight. And now, I'm going to put this right here, put another one here, put another one here, and continue down until I have about the whole thing taped up. What I'm going to try to do just for durability is to tape every single seam. If you don't tape well enough, what will happen is, is the rocket will just, it'll explode when you launch if you're using about 45 pounds of pressure. So that's what, what it looks like right now. A quick clarification. I mentioned that we needed to, uh, wrap uh, this aluminum duct tape like material around a section of the PVC pipe that's we uh, roll the rocket body up in. This is the the tape that I use. It's uh, I think it's used for duct work. Duct work. It is not duct tape. It's actually uh, can bend and it's quite sticky uh, and it's smooth. I think any tape, the uh, duct tape could probably work. I like it because the paper slides on and off, but here's why we need it. I'm, I, I put um, duct or the tape on this uh, piece because the what we want is our rocket to be slightly larger in diameter, the inside diameter, than the launching pipe. This is the launching pipe, and <clears throat> we want the rocket to slide right over top of this. If we if we were to roll the rocket up on a, a piece of pipe without tape on it, what ends up happening is the rocket is so tight and if it's humid, uh, the diameter, it might be just become difficult to slide the rocket on this uh, section of pipe. So here is, it's, this is a, a pretty snug fit, and uh, if I had rolled this this rocket up on here, it would have been too tight. Uh, so what we want to do is roll it up on uh, a piece of pipe that has tape uh, wrapped around it. And when I did this, I used uh, tape that was... I would just roll out a piece like this and then apply it lengthwise and then put another piece on uh, trying to uh, be careful about how the pieces overlap. So that way I'm essentially increasing the diameter of the outside diameter of this pipe by two thicknesses of this tape. Now let's pull back our tail fins or bring our tail fins back into the picture. And this is where uh, it gets a little 
uh, you have to pay attention. Now, depending on the quality of your tape, your tape may tear at this point uh, on the tail fins, but let's see what happens. Uh, the tail fins are designed currently to uh, be put on like this. Okay, now you're going to see a line where the tail fins are supposed to be right here. However, what I have recently learned is if we put our tail fins on in this manner, which will end up looking like this, this is a complete rocket that my daughter made, uh, the tail fins will look like this. They'll be um, uh, three fins, essentially. You can sort of get an idea of what that looks like. Uh, the, and I have the tail fins right at the bottom, but here's what happens is when the rocket comes down and hits the ground, um, the tail fins, the, the force can be so great that the tail fins move in, uh, towards the top because when it hits like this, the tail fins will move this way, ripping the tape right here and then the tail fins become loose and you have to tape them again. So what I think uh, you can do to uh, keep that from happening, let me show you. Well, the first step is, of course, is to tape the tail fins on right here. Now, at this seam, you're not going to completely overlap them because if you did, it wouldn't... Uh, and I just ripped my tail fin. Let me show you what I did. I just ripped right here. So I'm going to have to retape that. It might be better to use thicker tape on the tail fins. Um, another option, another option is to use a stapler. Uh, instead of tape, use a stapler instead of tape. It, I would never do this on a large scale because you'd run out of, I mean, it would be, I think, too difficult to use staples that much. Plus, the staples can have sharp edges and they can catch kids' fingers. So, here's what we do. Put this on the rocket. Now, I'm not going to tape it to the rocket just yet, but I am going to uh, tape it sh closed here sort of overlapping right where that white is. Okay, now the, the tail fins are on, but they're not attached to the rocket at all. And so, now this is normally where, if I move the rocket and again it's still on this piece of PVC pipe is in the past I've run the uh, tail fins right to the bottom of the rocket the end of the rocket but what I think is better is to actually move the tail fins up a little and the reason being is now you can tape the rocket or the tail fins to the at the top and at the bottom the idea is, is that when the rocket comes screaming back down to earth and hits the ground, that the tail fins are less likely to become dislodged. Again, if you're ever doing this on a large scale, what I have found, you know, working with hundreds, I've done this with 300 kids, is that you're going to go through a lot of tape. And it's best to have use little pieces of tape like this and have a volunteer or somebody in charge of just tape. Now, let me show you what this looks like. I'm going to slide this off. The tail, the tail fins are, here's the, two, the difference between the two. It's this white area right here that I'm referring to is, I think this is a better, it's better to move your tail fins up so that when it's less likely to move in either direction, these tail fins, uh, if you can force them, you can see that they'll, if you force it enough, because it's only taped right here, that uh, it can move. So now this one is just stronger all the way around. 
All right, now let's work on the nose. So up here at the top, you'll see uh, it says top of rocket. Do not color this area. I'm gonna slide the piece of PVC pipe down to this line right here. Um, doesn't have to be exact. I'm gonna actually get my tape ready. This takes a little bit longer piece of tape. And I like to start right at the uh, seam right here. And I'm gonna take my thumb and push it over like that. Generally, if I do this right, I can pr press it over in three areas. There we go, oops, move the camera. And so this is what it looks like right now. And the reason we're doing this is because the force at the top of the rocket is so great, if we don't do this, it'll just blow the top out. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my tape and put it over the top of this. Uh, this is a, a, the place to use heavy duty tape if you've got it. Right now for this video I only have this scotch tape, but I'm gonna do a good job at making sure that this does not open up. It's common for the top to blow out. Okay, now this is what I have so far. Again, this is just a piece of PVC pipe. Uh, we have our rocket almost ready. And now all we have to do is, uh, now by the way, this rocket will fly just like this. If I was to uh, take this out and launch it just like this, it flies wonderfully, okay? And again, the tail fin should be on thirds. I might adjust them a little bit like this, bending them, looking at the end. I always inspect it uh, and straight tail fins, again, make it fly straight. And uh, just as an aside, I have had kids uh, try to launch rockets without the tail fins. They just say, I don't want tail fins, I'm gonna do it without it. And I say, go ahead, let's see what happens. And uh, it, we quickly discover that it's nice to have tail fins. The rocket goes much higher uh, than without. So the question becomes, why? Why is that? So I explore that with kids. And then how many tail fins is too little? It, will one tail fin work or two or three? Uh, or can you have 10 tail fins? Uh, should you have fins at the top of the rocket? You can explore all of these aerodynamic pieces with kids. Okay, now, nose cone. This is simple. We're gonna fold on the dotted line all the way around. We're just kind of folding. Okay, now we're gonna overlap these last two folds and we're gonna tape, tape that shut. All right, my nose cone is ready to be taped on my rocket. Get two pieces of tape ready. I'm going to put this on. Truthfully, I have not seen much of a difference if you fly with a nose cone or without, but it makes it look like a rocket, so I think that's good. If it makes it look more like a rocket, that's better. And there we have it. The rocket is done. It is ready to launch. 